Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, my name is Prophet David from Botswana. I am Prophet David from Botswana. You remember I was here last time. Some of you saw me. So, I've got a lot of testimonies, but I'll just pick uh, main ones, actually. I came here, by, the time, by the time I came here, I was on the edge of leaving this ministerial calling things. So I thank God who directed me onto this place. I had many uh, 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 deadly encounters in my life. But after I was prayed for and went back home, I found that things even within the ministry have totally changed. All those fights within, between members of the church, they have already stopped. And the other thing that, that I want to thank God of this place about is this. I've I, 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 I been, I, I been, I been suffering from this issue of a, a land or place of worship. Where, where my ministry is located, the, the by, by law, uh, by law I, I, I think we know by law, they were always trying by all means to take me out of that land. They were, they were fighting, saying, this is not the right place for a ministry, for a church to be set. So to my surprise, when I went back, this, this testimony, I didn't even share it with my congregation. What, the, what shocked me, a certain old woman came and approached me. Saying, I want to give you a farm where your ministry will be located. Exactly, this was my, my, my prayer. Each and every time I was praying for this, Lord, if you can give me a farm, something that will use, that I will extend my ministry as time goes on. So this lady, this old woman, she called, she called me and then she provided me with this land. Hallelujah. Amen. Then, surprisingly, the day before, the day before yesterday, uh, the wise man that I left with the church there, he phoned me. Uh, I was on my way to come here in South Africa. He phoned me again, speaking about another lady who wanted to offer me another farm for a, for a church building to be implemented upon. I want to thank God of this place. My peace is restored. Amen. I thank God so much. Ask him. What I do to him, what, what do you want him for? What is it that you want him for? Huh? Oh. To use him to do what? This boy is not to have any grace scattering our things away. He is not a love scattering our things. What are your things? What are your things? You don't need me. You don't need me. I burn you. Amen. I burn you with fire all over your body. Amen. You must leave him to do the work of God. Leave him. Leave him in Jesus' name. Remember him, you remember this brother. You saw this brother. Huh? How many of you saw this brother? This pastor, you saw him. What is happening now in your ministry? Uh, I, I've just testified about hey, I, I'm having I'm having 
the, the, the joy of my heart. I, I, I testified about the plots because my ministry had no way to, to stay. We have given two farms immediately after I departed here. And when I entered there, I, I prayed for, for all my leaders, the disciples. I, 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 from there, there, there came a certain a demon <laughs> which manifested on in me. It manifested also on one of the, one of the, the disciples. So from there, the church was so restored. There is peace and there is an overflow. The power of God is moving so much more, so much more impressing. So I, I'm so happy to, 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 for God to lead me in this place. Already I gave a testimony. I was not there. But yeah. check it with me. You'll come with another one. You're anointed.